Let's talk about a few of the controls that we haven't yet discussed. First of all, we'll start with the controls across the bottom of the radio down here. Some of them we've already talked about, but some we have not. Over here is your microphone gain, and that's going to control the level of your transmit audio, or the level of your audio coming in through your mic. And the best way to determine what your audio is sounding like is to turn on the monitor function here. The monitor function allows you to listen to your transmitted audio, but make sure you're using headphones when you do that, because otherwise you'll get feedback. The RF power control is the next one, and of course you're probably going to leave that to high most of the time. Um, be very little opportunity for you, or very little need for you to change that that I can see. Come over here to the Vox control, and that's if you get tired of using the foot switch and you want to use uh, voice operated uh, operations. But of course remember that anytime you say anything, you're going to be transmitting um, uh, because your uh, voice activates the radio. Up here on the menus, I'm only going to go through a few of these menus. There's two main menus that you'll see here. If I push the menu button, you'll see it go back from M1 to M2. Let's start at M1. And really the only one that I'm going to spend any time on here is the compressor. Now, the compressor gives you more audio punch by filling in the gaps, the low points in your audio envelope. And to turn it on, you just simply press the compressor button. And that's again, that's a good time to kind of listen to your audio uh, using the monitor function, but you'll also want to watch your ALC so that you don't overmodulate. If you want to control the level of the compression, you hold in on the compressor button and use this knob here to adjust your compression level. So usually somewhere in the first half is going to be where you want. Gives gives you a little bit of extra punch as you're getting your signal through in a crowded band conditions. Press the menu again and we're uh, back to the menu button. The other one I'm going to show you here on this particular menu is the transmit bandwidth. And that gives you, uh, it, it defines the shape of the audio envelope that is uh, being used for modulation. So you've got narrow, wide, mid, and you can use whichever one is going to sound the best. Uh, different voices will sound better with different, uh, different settings. Press the menu button again, and we're on the second menu. The only one I'm really going to talk about here is this one, which is the voice uh, squelch control. And this is really kind of cool. If you turn this on, and it says VSC up on the top here, then you've essentially squelched the radio, and the only time the squelch opens is when it actually hears voice components. Not noise, not heterodynes, not crackle, not just something that would uh, go above the thr uh, squelch threshold using this knob. So this is a really pretty cool one. Let me see if I can find a signal here. We'll turn it on. And it's hearing voices. And if I turn off of that to a frequency where it's not hearing any voices, It should shut off. There we go. It's, it's going back and forth. But that's something to play with. It's another tool to uh, give you a little bit more control over uh, what you're hearing through the radio.